So, here's the thing. It's Saturday morning. It's before 11 o'clock, which is not normally a time that I'm awake even because I'm a, a night owl or a vampire or I don't know. But normally I'm awake all night and asleep during the day. So anyway, today, unusually, I got a, a text about 20 minutes ago from my pal Colin, who's my flying buddy, to say that his aeroplane is due for its annual inspection. And so he's going down to the airport to take off the inspection panels and stuff so that when the inspector is available to come and look at it, it's all ready for the guy to just turn up, have a look, you know, kick the tyres, make sure that everything's all right and sign it off from the year. So Colin foolishly, probably, has suggested that, you know, if I've got nothing better to do, I might want to go down and give him a hand. Now, generally, Colin is um, a very precise sort of a, a person. He's a, a, an engineer, he's a dentist and works with fine precision. I can just about wield a hammer realistically i think that i'm the greatest engineer in the world but i'm really not so i'm going to go down and i think the most sensible thing i can do is to take a source of light because the hangar that colin's airplane is in is quite dark and dingy and in the past when we've done this you know it's been hard enough to uh, to see what you're doing so i think that's the job today so what we'll do we'll jump in the car bob down to the airport and have a look and see what's happening down there. So join me in a couple of minutes. at this point that he realized he fucked up and forgot the security pass for the airport to get into the airport so back to the hoose for the security pass south at the moment from home which is um, in Santon. Just going through Santon now past the Mancat Centre in a minute. Uh, heading down towards uh, the ferry bridge and the blackboards and then Balasala and then the airport on a very Manx Saturday morning. The clouds down to about 50 feet I think. So there'll be no flying today, certainly. And uh, I think the aeroplane runs out of airworthiness effectively today or tomorrow. So I had thought that if the weather was all right, we might get a final flight before Colin takes it apart for the inspection. But <laughs> I doubt that that's going to happen. three car at the moment. I've got a Lotus Esprit which has been with various mechanics for the last five years. I think the last time I drove the car was something like, I don't know, 2016 when the uh, the oil coolers decided to, uh, to go leaky. And so it's been with various mechanics ever since then. I mean, a, a number of things done. Uh, most recently, Say to somebody, can you do a job for me? And they say yes. What they don't 
want to say is that yes, it might take me a year to make a start on it, so that's all a bit disappointing. But so I've got that car, which I've not used for years, and I've also got um, my daily is a, a lovely Jag SL500. Uh, sorry, not a Jag and Merc SL500, um, which is a convertible five litre, fantastic, uh, a bit noisy. Anyway, that decided to uh, to shit the bed uh, a fortnight ago, and uh, the electrics all went a bit haywire in it, and the mechanic that looks after the car decided that one of the drain pipes uh, near the windscreen wipers uh, isn't draining, it's been backing up, and so I've got a small lagoon uh, under the bonnet in this drain pipe which had gone over into the passenger footwell which is where there are lots of wires and CAN bus connectors and uh, modules and things like that um, so he's doing a, an internet approved modification to make the drain drain properly in future and then hopefully it's just a case of trying to dry the car out and uh, it shouldn't happen again hopefully we all know that cars are particularly bloody cranky characters. So whether or not that works or not, we don't know. And the other thing is that at the same time, it decided to eat its catalytic converter. Um, so <laughs> it sounded like I had some sort of marbles rattling around in the exhaust pipe, but I'm assured that it's a cat that's fallen apart. Um, so once uh, once my mechanic pal is finished with the uh, the drying out and the drain job, it's going off then to have uh, the exhaust looked at by another specialist firm. Uh, so that's why I'm in the Citroen today, Chloe, the Citroen. Um, people say, oh, you've got two motorbikes and three cars. Why do you need so many? You can only drive one at once. Yes, I can. But most of my bloody vehicles are usually workshops being fixed. I'm a one-man bloody industry, I think, for, uh, for mechanics on the Isle of Man. Uh, I've got one bike in the garage at the moment, you might have spotted earlier on. Uh, the other one has been away, it's now November, it's been away since June for a service, and to have the, um, I think the Americans call them the tins, uh, taken off and repainted. So uh, the repaint job was done very quickly, that only took a fortnight or so the bike still away and has been since June for its service uh, but uh, like I say it's November now but I have been promised it'll definitely be finished by the end of September uh, I think they meant September this year anyway we're coming down to Balasala so I'll turn off for a bit and we'll have a look when we get down to the airport so here we are at Ronald's Way Isle of Man International Airport Obviously because of coronavirus it's not uh, handling many flights at the moment. It's doing freight and uh, occasional flights for essential workers but that's about all. So, you know, the place is a bit like a ghost town. But we're not going to the main terminal, that's behind us. down to uh, Hangar 2. might be here before Colin. So. <laughs> a motor home. Oh, well done. It's a bit of a cup of tea. Oh, good. We like the idea of that. How's life? Oh, all right. I've had a good coffee. 
right? Yes, sir. You know, so the weather's been great for flying, obviously. Yeah. As we can see, viewers, it's a little bit dark in here. <laughs> is it a bit of oil's run down? Yeah. I'm not sure whether it is oil or whether that is. Do 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 do